In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Unreal Engine's virtual production tools to make a car chase just like this. So what do we need? We want a chaos vehicle. This is just a template vehicle. We have static meshes that are attached to it. And then we also want a playback version, which is the same skeleton. This is the skeleton right here with the same static meshes, but it doesn't have the vehicle component, it doesn't have cameras. This is just something that once we record the car, we can then swap it out in the static in the uh, sequencer. And so uh, we won't have to carry all that extra baggage and we can continually record car after car after car and start building uh, traffic patterns. So these are the pieces. And uh, what you want to do is you would take that pawn, make it so that it's possessable, place in the world, and put it in the world where you want to start your videos. So the next step is telling the take recorder what you want to record. So in this case we want to drag our pawn blueprint into the take recorder. But it's by default going to have a bunch of settings. It's going to record everything. It's going to be hundreds of components. You don't want all that stuff, right? What you want is you want the transform track because that's going to plot the car location in world space so it'll it will be in the right position and then you want the animation track because that's what's going to record all of the turning of the wheels uh, the suspension the sway of, of, of the chassis so you want that to go on the skeletal mesh but then you want the skeletal mesh to then follow along the the track as it drives around right and so all this other stuff because we're going to be swapping out this car with this other blueprint we don't care about the spring arms we don't care about the, the the properties of the vehicle movement component right we just want the location and the wheels so and then spawnable you can do both spawnable or possessable they each have their pluses and minuses uh, we can go over them uh, I like to do spawnable and I can show you why even though it's might not seem obvious at first so so this character this is in the world and we are possessing it right so we have to, because it's chaos, we have to hit play for this thing to actually run. And so it takes a second to get started. And then once it's playing, we can hit record. There we go. Uh, and so hit record, does the countdown, three. And then I can drive. can see the wheels going and I'm going to hit escape when I'm done okay so we did it as a spawnable and then we can go and we can review the last recording and this will bring up this sequencer but when you scrub through you don't see anything and this seems like a problem <laughs> Uh, and it kind of is annoying. Uh, so how come? Well, it's because we are we are trying to use this car that's still in the scene. It's not respawning it. If we go into the into the blueprint here and we unlock it and we convert this to possessable, it creates another copy of it because it, this basically frees it from the the one that Unreal is holding on to. Right? And now we can scrub through and we can see this. And you can see here, this is the track that it goes along. I can scrub along. But you know, you can see here also, there's the camera, it's trying to do logic, and it's, uh, it's got a lot of extra stuff in it. So what we want to do is swap this with the, the playback version. But you can't do that when it is, um, when it is, possessable you'd have to drag that in the world which you could do that but what I do is I go back to spawnable and of course now there are still two wagons in there so it still works but now I can switch it and say okay I don't want it to be the playback I want the the pawn I want the playback version right and so now this is just a much more simplified character that you can see the wheels moving but 
this is a base that then you can use and we're going to save this. So you might say, Tony, what are you doing? Why would you have this spawnable and it didn't spawn and then convert to possessable and then back to spawnable? Why don't you just record this as possessable? And then we can just switch it once. So let's try this. So we convert to possessable. We hit play. We wait forever. Forever. Okay. <laughs> then we record. Countdown. Okay. We do another amazing video of driving. Okay. We review the, the last take. And we notice, hey, wait a second. Actually, this is even cooler because this time it actually works. So we didn't have that problem where here we go, it uh, didn't work the first time. So this seems like a way better choice, right? Um, the problem is we can't convert this to the playback version. We still have to go to spawnable, okay, which is fine. And then we can oh, unlock it, always unlock it, convert to spawnable, okay, and then we can now change the class to wagon playback that's great so that's all fine and now we have the exact same situation where we were before okay great save this okay fine save and but when we say okay close this go back to our uh next take well crap look we have no wagon in the scene we just actually deleted the wagon that we were using. Um, it was placed in the world, so now I don't remember exactly where it was. Uh, I could go find a wagon, the wagon that I had, and drop it in the world, if I could even remember where it was. And then, uh, sports car, wagon, but then now it's, it's named the same, but the take recorder doesn't know that it's the same thing. So then I could select it. Let's see here. Let's see here. Wagon. So if you're doing this over and over, okay. So then, and then look at that. It went and it just reset all the properties. So then every time you want to do this, you have to redo all that or restart the scene. So I end up finding myself doing 50 recordings or something to try to get it right. So. I really don't want to do this 50 times. I don't like, and I can't just have it be auto spawned from like the, the game settings because again, it'll just pop into the world and it won't be here in take recorder and it won't have all the settings. So, so even though the spawning process is a little odd to record spawnable, I find overall it's, it's a much more pleasant uh, day. One thing I highly recommend doing because you have uh, this very specific choices that you want selected is make a preset so you can take anything that is uh, specific here like your object and you can save as a preset car a wagon and that'll be handy because the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new empty level sequence and we want to combine our previous takes into that so that way when we drive we see our previous takes and we drive with them right so I'm going to create a new level sequence call it all traffic and then I here I'm going to load that up and you'll see when I do that it just blasts away this anyways so no point getting triggered just save it and then it will put it in there so there you go so you should just do it anyways all right so we have this new level sequence so instead of making from scratch we have this one and we can put anything we want in there 
So let's go to our previous takes. I'm going to drag the one from take six and take seven. I'm going to drag this in there. One thing you'll find quickly is that it creates a really short clip that is shorter than I ever want it to be. So here you can see it was going to stop it. So if I want a longer take, I want to make sure that this is you know long enough to have some some room for me. So let's save this. And so this will be the recording that I drop this character, this next recording, into. So what we'll do here is we have to hit play, remember? And wait. And wait. Okay. Now, these cars are from previous recordings. You can scrub through and see them. But I start at the beginning. And when I hit record, it's going to play that and record me into this take. So let's do that here. Hit record. There's the countdown. See that other the card there? This first card is going to skid out. I'm going to go around it. And then this next car is going to skid out. I'm going to crash into there. Okay. So you could layer your recordings and record yourself and record another car and another car. And so you could create a complicated interaction. And we want to uh, review the last recording. It's going to bring us up. Here you can see this is my new information that's dropped in there. Now it was spawnable, remember. So likely you're not going to see the third car until you do our conversion where we go into here we unlock it convert to possessable so it copies it now you can see it and then if you wanted to we could uh, convert it to spawnable and change the class to wagon playback and then we can save this and do it again. And now we have three cars. And you can just keep recording and recording and have whether this is characters in a scene, in this case it's cars driving, but you could do traffic and be uh, avoiding other cars and basically build a whole system. And you know, you can switch them out. These are all the same one, but you saw how I switched the, the pawn. I could have the blue car, red car, green car. So uh, this is a, a way to approach virtual production using the chaos physics. And, uh, you know, a lot of people need cars for their virtual production. And this is um, hopefully give you some tips. Thanks.